Folks, we are on the verge of a truth revolution and a truth awakening because th there's just never been more image and there's never been more material facades you can hide behind. And so people have practiced this, this false shallow life where they don't know the truth. They don't know the deep things of God. They don't know the knowledge of God. And, um, but there, there's so much material filth. And I just say it's all dead stuff. Good as it is, you know. So much just dead junk and people hiding behind dead junk and people surround themselves with shiny things and they hide behind their clothing, their makeup. Like there's just so many dead things in history now that people can hide behind and, and, and live a, a fake life, a dishonest life, a life that is far from Christ and the truth and far from the knowledge of God and just look pretty to the humans down here you know, made in the image of God we are, it just looked pretty to the humans down here. And so we, we are on track for a massive truth revolution. Like I'm talking like almost a stomach churning upheaval of the giant snowball effect of lies and facade that has stacked up to the point of irreparable, like cannot be cannot continue anymore like it's gonna come to an end like we cannot have any more politicians and people in public sectors leaders that are not talking about christ that are living phony lives far from christ the bubble's gonna burst and i pray that it does like we just need everyone to practically break down and say my life is so full of phoniness like i tell lies all the time i i wear a suit i hide behind clothing i feel fake i don't even know the truth i don't even know if there is a truth you know even Pilate in jesus day didn't know he said what is truth he was so you know broken but never before in our modern age like we have so many shiny toys that people hide like people that just drive in cars i'm i walk everywhere. I'm like a prophet. I, I, I'm proud to walk. I love walking. It's the most healthy thing for you. I love it. Um, but you just think about how easy it is to live at a distance from other people um, like never before in the history of the universe, you, you know, on your computer, Facebook, like fake book, you know, through your phone, like just screens everywhere, barriers, distance, like you can take off in your car at any point, like just, just hiding, 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 dishonesty. I don't know the truth and I don't know what to say. And and just like, and I pray for leaders, leaders need to demonstrate confession. Leaders need to demonstrate honesty, you know, and um, we don't have that in political circles right now. Um, we don't have any Christ confessing political leaders. It's a shame. And, um, but I just, I smell it. I can, I pray for it. And I, I just see all factors pointing to a huge truth hunger where everyone in the modern world that has been playing around with all of these entertainments, all of this imagery, you know, we tried all the dead imagery, the Disney cartoon, you know, just glitz before our eyes, stuff like this. And people are getting hungry for real relationships. They're getting hungry for confession. They're getting hungry to get their truth out. They're getting hungry to like get their sins forgiven and get free. And you know, like <sighs> confession, people getting honest and, um, I just, but far more than that, it's not about you, it's about knowing God, who is the truth, and, and the riches of God, like all the Gematria gems that I've shared on my channel, There's so, God has so much to share with you that is a pure joy and a pure delight, and um, there's so much to talk about then that is wonderful and true and God-glorifying, uh, Get it, you know, but it's just, I just, uh, it, it, never before have we lived in a facade a very shallow culture, very, very shallow living. Um, emphasis on all things superficial, emphasis on looking good, and it just, um, anyways, I love beauty like crazy, but um, yeah, I mean, give your life to God. You gotta know God first. Like, the knowledge of God is priceless. And uh, I just, I really do pray for a great, you know, can you imagine if a politician on public TV broke down in tears and said, folks, I have to apologize to all of you. I have not been talking about Jesus Christ, who is the true answer for the sin problems of our country. Can you imagine if 
any politician of any major country on earth today broke down in tears by the Spirit of God on public television, in the media, and said, I, I, I got to come clean with you people. I've had a revelation from Jesus Christ. He's real. He's the answer for the sin problems of the world. And we have rebelled against him. We have cast the Bible out of our school system. We have ignored him. We have not been talking about him in public. We have not been seeking him from the throne to, uh, you know, the common people. And um, we, we need to change our minds. We need to repent. Like we've been speaking foolishness. We've been focusing on all the wrong things that God doesn't want us to focus on. We've ignored the gospel. We've cast it off from our children, from our schools, from our teachers, from our leaders. And I got to come clean with you folks. And then that prime minister goes to like, you know, their whatever it is, their G7, their G20 meeting with the other major leaders of the country. And they open their mouth and they say, I've given my life to Jesus Christ. He's, he's taken away my sin. He's filled me with the Holy Ghost. And I have new peace and joy that I never had before. And Jesus really is the answer for your country too. Like, can you imagine that actually, but that is the kind of situation where we're in. Where it, it's just, we're living in entertainment land. There, there's a whole lot of just, you know, facade and stuff. It's like, but I tell you, the bubble's about to burst where people are in private, people are breaking down. And you, you hear these stories all the time. Hollywood is, is the worst, obviously, for facades and beautiful image where in private, their marriage falls apart. They can't keep anything real. It, they're falling apart at the seams, drug overdoses. People like Michael Jackson died age 50 because they can't control their sin. And that's the thing I'm talking about, okay? People hurting desperately in private with all sorts of crazy questions and and secret sins and in public it's just a, it's very shiny and it's, it's very it's very like polished and uh truth healing truth confession is the healing truth is the healing like just break down before god in private just hammer it out with god in private confess everything before god humbly in private and then as god gives you the grace to do so and uh, um start doing it in in your in your relational you know in, in the people you relate with like no matter where you are like president you know pauper just you know honesty is just the foundation of all you know proper morality and um i just there's it's just like the perfect storm so to speak like we've never had more many facade we've never had more facades we've never had more ability to, to live a life of facade with all the material goods around us, all the shiny things we can cover our lives with, and all the people down here that we can put our trust in and not really being relying on God and stuff like that. And um, it just, uh, I'm ready to see the shakedown. I pray that it happens. I pray we see a lot of people weeping, weeping in the presence of Almighty God and the conviction of the Holy Ghost, just saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I was blind, I was lost, and I didn't even realize I was leading people astray. I thought I was helping the world by focusing on, you know, what man can, can do, you know, apart from God and our own strength, and we can innovate. And we, It's like, no, if people do not confess that Jesus Christ is God, the curse remaineth upon them. The curse of sin remaineth upon them. The wrath of God remaineth upon them. And they are cursed financially, they are cursed, and all this stuff, and... Um, with all truth that needs to be spoken. So, um, there you go. Let the facades come down and let truth be spoken all through the media, all through the media. Let Christ be known, let God be known well, and let him be spoken about well on the lips of every man and woman and child from sea to shining sea. Let the truth fill every single one of us. As much truth and knowledge about God as every single one of us can receive by his grace um, and through a personal, deep, long, meditative, gorgeous, delicious, satisfying, personal prayer life with God where you hold your peace and keep your silence as you give honor and just wait for him to speak. And Truth. I, I'm ready for the truth awakening. The bubble's got to burst. Like there, there are there are so many truth movements all over the internet. There's many different ways you can 
I mean, there's so many truthers out there that are fighting a cause for truth to come out in history, like the Archi AE 9-11 group, the architects and engineers for 9-11 truth. That's a perfect example. People that are obviously that expose false religions and cults and all this stuff. But uh, I, I would just love to see everyone just weeping and repenting, saying, God, I, I was lost for so long. And just forgive me for not knowing you. Forgive me for not pursuing you, Jesus. Forgive me for not seeking you, because if you do seek Jesus, he'll reveal himself to you, and he'll teach you amazing truth, and you'll be set free from so much other stuff. Um, but just, Lord Jesus, set me free. Set everyone free from just lies, people-pleasing, false relationships. Just, I want to hear God talked about well, from the throne down, every single day. There is no reason that our Prime Minister should not be talking to us about God every single day. There is no reason, okay, that the President of the United States, the Prime Minister of Canada, the Prime Minister of any nation, the Queen of England, the monarch of any nation, there is no reason that any of those people should not be confessing the names of Jesus, God the Father, and the Holy Ghost every single day with abundant, accurate truth about them and be hearing the personal voice of God in prayer with godly counsel pouring forth from their lips. There is no reason by God Almighty before I stand and whom I serve. There is no reason. Nothing is impossible for God and I want to see that happen. I am tired of dancing words and dance and hot air. Just, just, it's, the gospel is the answer. People calling out to God from beginning to end, people practicing personal relationship with God through the confession, it all begins with people believing and confessing with their mouth that Jesus Christ is God, okay, and that the Holy Ghost is God. That's the foundation. And then as people, if you spend silent time in prayer desiring to hear the personal voice of God after you've confessed that Jesus Christ is God, you will. If your heart is pure and your heart is true and genuine before the maker of the universe, the triune God, and you, you, you set yourself in, a, in any place, any place on earth, and you just have simply set your heart and your mind saying, God, I want to hear from you. Teach me to hear your voice. Teach me to interpret what you're doing in my life. Teach me to understand what's going on. Teach me, Lord. Tell me what's going on. Please impart your wisdom and your truth to me. I want to grow in truth and in wisdom and knowledge. God, like the perfect loving father who's offered to spend time by one of his kids, he's like, I'm there. Like, yes, I love you so much. Are you kidding? I get to, get, I get to spend time with my son, teaching him amazing things. I get to spend time with my daughter, filling her with new knowledge because I'm infinite and there's always more. He's like, anytime, I'll always be there. You just need to set your heart and believe, okay? But the foundation, Jesus said it, the rules. You must believe that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. He is the Son of God and he is also God Almighty. He is the second member of the Trinity. Remember the prophet Isaiah said the names of Jesus. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Jesus confessed many times that he was the great I Am. He said before Abraham was, I Am. Bang! The very Jewish name of Jehovah that all the Jews knew, referred to Jehovah, and he said that, those words, I am, in Hebrew, many times in, in his speaking on earth, okay? Because he is Jehovah forever and ever, together with God the Father and the Holy Ghost. So, if you, once you believe that, you say, I believe. I believe that Jesus is and was Almighty God and evermore shall be, that he is and was perfect, lived the perfect life on earth as God incarnate, rose himself from the dead and is God of gods from eternity past to eternity future. Say, I believe that. I confess that. Now, the sky's the limit as to how much you can learn and hear from God personally. And there's nothing more satisfying than hearing from God personally. Now, what's amazing is that God works through people and that God can teach you, and he does very frequently, obviously, um, through everything. Everything that happens in your life. If you're really good and you're close to the Lord and you, and like, you will interpret everything. You know that everything that happens every single day of your life is God teaching you and God speaking to you and God growing you and God uh, showing you new things and teaching you new things. And it just, it just Holy Spirit is your guide. And um, uh, your heart is set right. You're going to grow like crazy. You, the sky's the limit because God is infinite. Uh, he'll take you higher. He'll say, you, you've handled all that? Good job, son. Good job, daughter. I'll give you more. Like an athlete that's, that's got the grit, that's got the know-how, said, 
you, you did well on that. You, you got more juice in you? You go, yeah, I can take more. You say, I'll give you more. God will give you, keep giving you more and more and more and more and more. And before you know it, people will be blown away. They'll be like, how did, how on earth do you know all this stuff? How, how you say, I just desire God. I just simply desire the truth. I desire God. I desire to hear from him. My heart is set for that at all times. And he doesn't disappoint. God does not disappoint. He'll give you all the wisdom. He'll give you supernatural knowledge. He'll teach you things like crazy. And um, he'll set you free in your entire body. Your instincts get healed. You'll even feel like you're floating and like you're going places that you, you just, you'll just feel like you're going the right place and all sorts of cool stuff. But let this happen from sea to shining sea, in the public sector, in our political sectors, in our educational sectors, in our industrial sectors, in every sector there is, okay? And um, it starts with your honesty, bedrock. It starts with your total honesty to God himself and you yourself personally. And, uh, and as, you, as you maintain total honesty, as much as possible, with everything in your soul, like to total honesty, with yourself, with God, with every single atom in the universe, with everyone in your world, um, God will teach you much more and grow you more and the, and the truth and the honesty will spill out of you um, to others in public. And who knows what your future will be. You might be a famous speaker someday, but um, draw near to God personally. He's your personal tutor. All right, glory. Truth, 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 people.